Meet Liam, a 19-year-old entrepreneur living his life up in the mother city, Cape Town, South Africa. And from what I can tell, a pretty good life indeed. One I wouldn't mind having myself, you know. Well, let's begin. Done saying I'm done playing. Last time is on the outro. Stuck in the house, need to get out more. I've been stacking up like I'm fundraising. Alright guys, so right now we're heading down to a little coffee shop. Oftentimes we walk up here in the morning, get a little bite to eat. I want the chocolate croissant. My chocolate croissant. <laughs> get some work done. And yeah, just chill. Like I'm at the point in my business now where I've delegated everything I've delegated. You've done all the hard work, now you're just chilling. Now I just chill bro, I open up my laptop. Obviously I do e-commerce for you guys that don't know. Open up my laptop, I look at my ads, see that everything is running smoothly, speak to a few team members, and boom, <laughs> that's my work done for the day, bro. Like, I'm literally gonna put in maybe 15 minutes now, and then I literally won't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. Yeah, just focus on what matters, focus on what actually brings cash in the door. That's how you grow, for real. Um, would you go for, would we go for like sunset? I think that would be good. Cool, cheers. Can't wait to capture that romantic moment for you guys. Yep. Got the ring ready. <laughs> you got... I didn't pay. I didn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that it's caught on camera. <laughs> we do pay sometimes, I know. But this man's a fraud. Today, unfortunately, we didn't get lucky. <laughs> can make it a uh, 300. Thank you very much. <laughs> give a nice little tip. You know? Yeah, right after trying to just yeah. walk away without pain. Probably seemed like I did that on purpose, eh? Like I went up, I was gonna get a coffee. She's like, oh, no, it's fine. She didn't look happy. I, like, even when you them, right? but she looked at me like the She even gave you a little giggle, bro. Yeah. I don't know if I got on camera, but I heard that shit. It's just for only fans. Only fans. Yeah. No, we're gonna put cut, bro. He's gonna come up with me now. And <laughs> No, it's true, bro. Nah, I'm just laughing at your reaction. Yeah. I'm gonna form all the nitty and gritty. Wait, he's nitty and gritty. Uh huh. That's live, dude. No, that's gonna be for YouTube, not not OnlyFans. Not on OnlyFans. So it's like. I'll send you the link I'm wondering. Oh shit, my pants on the wrong. Oh my god, you got too much on your mind, bro. Alright boys, so we're heading to the gym, gonna show you my pre-workout concoction. So firstly we have some Ciroc from a couple nights ago, so we start off with some of that. No, I'm joking. <laughs> what we are gonna have is some Numuti. If you're drinking Red Bull, if you're drinking Monster, like this guy. Hey man, I need my fun drink. Stop. Because one day you're gonna die. So you start off with some Numuti, which is basically an energy drink. Super clean, no sugar, but it still has the caffeine. So we start with some of that. And then we come over here, we pop open some red wine. You weren't joking. <laughs> Good for the blood flow. Gets the heart pumping. And makes you feel like you're way stronger than you actually are. What's up, bro? It's too early for this shit. <laughs> but yeah, genuinely, I do drink some red wine every now and then before gym. Definitely not a traditional uh, pre-workout, but, you know. Yeah, I think I'll stick to my monster, bro. <laughs> for real, I wouldn't advocate everyone drinking red wine before working out. To be honest, I watched a YouTube video of some guy that's in pretty good shape saying that he drinks red wine before his workouts and... Yeah, I decided to go buy some red wine, so I, I actually never do this, like the third time I've ever done this. I had a pretty good workout the first time I did it, so I decided, why not do it again? <laughs> Just a few sips. <laughs> Bro's gonna walk in there stumbling. Not going too hard. That should be good. Alright, one more for good luck. That's gonna be drunk. <laughs> it's good for camera. And just like that, I'm ready to have a good workout. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're pulling up to the Silo Gym. It's a very nice, very fancy gym here in Cape Town. I don't currently have a membership here, but I just want to check it out for the day, see if I like it. And if I like it, I'll definitely get a membership here. Uh, the reason why I don't have a membership at the moment is because it's around 6,000 Rand a month. So that's like $300 a month for all of you American viewers. 
and yeah, just never pulled the trigger on that membership. But at the moment, I'm really valuing my network, and I figured if you know everyone else there is paying six thousand rand a month, they must be pretty high level, pretty cool people that value being around good people too. So yeah, I'm gonna check it out today. Gonna bring Michael in as well. Just pay the one-time entrance fee, and if we like it, we'll sign up. Another one, cause I'm winning in my photo, looking real photogenic. Gentlemen attire and threads that won't expire. I'm in the class of my own, my teacher got fired. Money getting low, pussy rate keep rising. Versace outfit cost me 3,000. From the P houses, did it from the week hours. Selling that chicken, no lemon pepper, no sweet and sour. First you get the power, then you get respect. I'm getting so much money, I can buy your How was your first experience at the Virgin Active, bro? That was a good jump. Already met a lady that can be a potential concierge for Copia, so that's a massive win. Definitely worth the price off the bat for that. For me personally, and for the members inside of Copia, so it's crazy, bro. Like, I saw so many people with nice watches, Rolexes, APs, Cartier bracelets, just from like an hour of being here. So, it's definitely a lot of potential connections to be made this side. For real. Camera, there he is. Nice to meet you. <laughs> What's up, bro? Nice to meet you. I love how you're just walking around with space. Yeah, ready? <laughs> I mean, bro, you were 12 years old making $6,000 yeah. a month. That's yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, that was probably 13 at the time. At 12, I was like in my first bit of money. At 13, I hit you know, $5,500 profit. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the first segment of Cooking with Liam. Today we join with my good friend Moritz. Thank How are you doing, you brother? It's an honor to be on the prestigious show. Yes, yes, excited to eat some good food with you today. All right, let's take a look, guys. Recipe. Yeah, I was actually... We've got some, some steak, that's what, that's what we've got. Some steak, some okay. And uh, I only brought two, I didn't bring for the cameraman, apologies. I didn't know you were here, but... You know, it's up. all good. Some people need to, you know, fast sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's an inside joke. Um, but yeah. I also want to challenge you for something, actually. Okay, tell me. This morning, this morning, I signed up for a marathon. Oof. Oh, okay. Um, what? Uh, what was that? Uh, <laughs> I think, I think a marathon. marathon. Yeah. When is it? Uh, 20 October, so six months from today. I'll do it. Let's do it. Six I'm in. months to train. I'm in. There we go. I'm in. See that? You better call him out if he doesn't it's, do it's it. It's on camera. It needs to be done now, bro. Okay. Is this cooking with Liam or cooking with Maurits? Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, Liam is learning, you know. Liam's learning, okay. Yeah, I, I studied what he just did, so I'll do the exact same thing. This, dude, this is this is some this good steak good. right here. Like, I've seen my fair share of steaks this in my life, and I can see that this is some very good steak. Well, Maurice, I won't lie, my, my mouth is starting to salivate yeah, a little bit, bro. Trust me, it's good. Yeah. Ass or I mean, yeah, I'll be ass. Some, yeah, Yo, I just said I'll be ass. <laughs> said, brother. Yes. That's <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, some good steak. Every day hustle like William. I'm charging the chicken just for the rest. Yeah. I get in that kitchen. I cook all the work. I go berserk. Yeah. So we have to hike all the way up there. No way! 15 minutes, we'll be all the way up there. With my man Sebastian over there. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> and it begins. Alright, Lion's Head hike. You know, I've lived in Cape Town my whole life, but I've never done Lion's Head, so... Me either. And I gotta do it with camera gear. Cape It's actually kind of embarrassing, bro. Like, a lot of people, when I speak to them about Cape Town, they're like, oh yeah, Lion's Head. Beautiful hike, I'm like... Yeah. The 
is flat. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Do you reckon the earth is flat? <laughs> you reckon the earth is flat? Like, look at it, bro. No, bro, we can't go down this now. <laughs> do you reckon joking. the earth is flat? Like, do you actually think that? Nah, I don't think so. But there's doubt here. No, but you know what it is? Yeah, yeah, the, the earth is... It's conspiracy, but the earth is not a sphere either. Like, they didn't... They told us it was a sphere, but it's not. What I think it? it's a triangle. No. <laughs> if you Google is the Earth um, pear-shaped, it would, the first thing on Google search will say that yes. Then for, in fact, the Earth is not a sphere. There's like a technical name for the shape. It's not a pear shape, but it's like a. Why did you um, search this? I is the Earth a pear it. shape? <laughs> I just question shit, but I, I don't think it's flat. I don't think it's flat. But... I mean, it's good to question shit. Do you think it's a pear? I don't know what it is. I don't think. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's. Yeah, a sphere, I actually but... have no idea what it is. Yeah. Bro, like, but I mean, there's facts to back up both. Which makes it possible. Yeah. Hey, my nose is running. My nose is always running, bro. Something you're not telling us. <laughs> no, it's annoying, bro. Like, <laughs> my whole life, my nose is always running. So get that checked I, out, I, I bro. Always, I checked. always have toilet paper on me. Maybe you should enter that into the marathon. What? Your nose. <laughs> <laughs> With everything in life, just try and think a little bit further, you know. Not everything is exactly how it seems. And you need to stop doing the bullshit thinking. It also shows. There's just so much information out there that it's very easy for our minds to get clouded and our thought process to get clouded. Best thing is to just be still, stop consuming so much bullshit and just think out of the box about things. Stop thinking about 99% of the shit that everyone else is thinking about and start thinking about the 99% of stuff that people aren't thinking about like this. Because like I said, not everything is as it seems. So now You don't need to start debating if the earth is flat and stuff. There's more important stuff in the world. At the end of the day, we don't know, but just be open to new ideas. Don't be stuck in your ways. And yeah, you'll learn a lot.